Hi, today I wanted to talk about my recent character development. This week was actually very busy doing other stuff, and even when I had free time to develop my game, unfortunately I didn't have the strength to do so. I didn't know what to talk about at first, but then I remembered this new asset that I was working on last month, so let's get started. I began doing something I usually don't do, and that is creating a block out of the character, placing all the muscles in the right places. It's not super detailed, but it's enough. I decided to do this because I may use this base mesh for other characters as well. This whole thing actually started from a discussion with my friend. We talked about model quality, and he politely said that my last asset looks kind of crappy and I obviously disagreed, but I couldn't really prove it. In my opinion, the difference between styles doesn't make one worse than the other. Even if it only contains one texture, and is super low poly, it shouldn't matter. But anyway, I wanted to prove this, so I placed my modular character asset to an asset store, which you can find in the link below, and my next step was to make another modular character that has more polys and has a lot of maps just as my friends suggested would look better, so that's what I was doing last month. Then I will place both assets to the asset store, I will wait a few months and see how well they are doing. If my currently developed character receives more sales, then I guess my friend was right, but I don't really expect this to be true. At the same time I was very curious if it is worth doing 3D assets and selling them on the asset store as a living. So this whole character took me about 30 hours to finish. I made the whole game ready rigged character in 12 hours, so basically in one day. But extra clothes and materials and also different shaders took a bit more time to finish. So after base mesh I began changing the proportions of all the subtools because I actually wanted a stylized character and after I was happy with the new base mesh specifically for this character I began making the head first. I always do it like this if I see that everything goes well then my confidence rises and I continue with the body. I don't know how other artists work but I never really know what exactly I want to achieve. I am basically looking for the right shape so I often get a really bad model at first that looks like an alien, but little by little it starts looking like something I wanted. So after I was done with the head I started making hands, because it was the second most difficult part for me. I really like how Fortnite characters look and their hands are so stylized and blocky that I even decided not to scoop them but model them in ZBrush. Making the hands took me quite a long time, but it was worth it. I really like the result. So now it was time to collapse all the muscles one by one to create a single mesh body. At this part I was really careful because I really liked the base mesh and I didn't want to mess it up. When I merged everything I noticed that proportions didn't quite look good. But I decided to fix this later when I have a low poly model. But before making low poly I wanted to add some clothes. I made them by selecting some patches on the model body, then retopology them, adding some thickness and adjusting the model a bit. I also added some stripes for them to look a bit more interesting. Now the high poly was almost done. The last thing that's missing is some hair and I decided to add a very stylized model that almost doesn't even look like hair, but I was pretty happy about it and again I didn't scoop the hair at all. I modeled some hair strands that look a bit thick, but that's what I wanted, and then simply placed them close to each other and adjusted them a bit. Finally, the high model was more or less done, and it was time to make a low poly model. And as always, I do this in ZBrush. I started from the hair, and I was really curious about how it would look like with the textures, which by the way I wanted to make as simple as possible. So after I was done with the low poly hair model, I unwrapped it and baked the maps. I made an ambient occlusion map, two different normal maps, a curvature map and an ID map. Then I made a very simple texture by just combining some of these maps, adding a pink color 
and exporting everything including low poly to unity this was the first time i wanted to use a universal render pipeline because everything looked a lot better there i have added the textures on my low poly hair model and this is how it looked and in my opinion it looked quite nice the bakes were clean there were some visible big pixels on the model which i couldn't figure out at first but then i remembered that the textures are compressed in unity so i had to turn it off now i was confident that my other characters parts would look great so i went back and made all the necessary low poly models some low poly parts were actually made in 3ds max it was more comfortable to me than zbrush and after all that unwrapping and baking i made some simple textures again the face texture however was not as simple it wasn't just one color i actually transferred the texture from zbrush because i have painted the face a little bit in zbrush before the color textures were ready but i had to add metalness smoothness and ambient occlusion maps obviously there is no metal so metalness was all black but i added the smoothness map in alpha channel which made it possible for the eyes to be very smooth the last thing that was missing to call this character asset ready was a rig so i made the custom skeleton and skinned the model which took quite a while and i had to tweak it a lot before it was actually ready then i added some animations from mixamo to test it the link to mixamo is in the description i was so amazed by how easy it was to add the animations to the model it took me only a few minutes so this is how my character looks now i have seen it so many times that it's hard for me to say if it's good or not at this point i have spent around 12 hours i took a break for a few days because i was exhausted from all the modeling but after this i still had the urge to test whether it's worth creating assets for asset store so i didn't want to make big breaks otherwise it would be difficult to see how much time i spent on making an asset when i came back i already had some ideas for the outfits i wanted them to look a bit futuristic and i remembered that i already have some other characters which are just sitting in my folder collecting dust so i decided to use some parts of their clothes i still had to make a lot of new clothes on this character which took a long time including making body armor arms accessories and shoes so after high poly modeling i made low polys and bake all the necessary maps after this i made some textures and since it's a modular asset i made three different color variations for each outfit but then i started thinking what if other people wanted some other variations so then i came up with an idea to create a custom shader with shader graphs each outfit had an id map which i would use as a masking tool after some experiments i finally had a working shader now you can pick any color you want for a different part and make your own color variation the last thing that needed to be done was to add some variations to skin hair and eye color you can pick any color you want for the hair but i made a limited amount of skin color because the face had specific different colors that would be difficult to manage and finally it's all done i have changed the proportions of hands and feet tested some more animations until i was happy and added these assets to the asset store i will add the link in the description below when it will be approved and in the near future i will talk about if it's worth selling your assets by providing all the statistics of how many assets i have managed to sell i hope this video was informative enough and if you enjoyed it please leave a like and subscribe for more videos have a great weekend.